There's something special about division games, and you got to expect something extra special Thursday night with the Jets and the Patriots in first place on the line. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, Clark Judge, Ian Eagle. Glad to be with you in the end zone presented by Sony here on CBSSports.com. And there's something different about this game. It's a Thursday night game in Foxborough, and, and Ian, you'll be calling this game on the radio, so you'll be able to see it firsthand. But the Jets, they have to be sick and tired of losing to the Patriots. They've dropped 10 of 11, and it's them this time around that have the franchise quarterback, not the Patriots. It's on the Jets. The pressure, in my mind, is absolutely on the Jets right now because, uh, let's face it, New England's playing with a backup quarterback. They're playing with a fourth-string running back. They're playing now with a backup outside linebacker, backup strong safety. This is the time. The Jets, either way, win or lose, this will be the defining moment of their season and a lot of that has to do with the fact that they are built to win now this is not the start of something this is not the middle of something this is something <laughs> they are in the middle of it and uh, they've designed everything to do it right now right. Clark right no I think so I mean I, I agree with Ian it's it's on the Jets but um, they've got to do it, you know. And, and the, the history of the Jets against the Patriots isn't real good. No. I mean, generally New England wins, and they win there, and, and they're in their comfort zone there. I think if, if New England's going to do something here, they have to do what they did against Buffalo last week, sustain drives. You had three drives of 11 plays or more. You had one of 19. You've got to do that against this team. Now, this defense is much better than Buffalo's. It's better than the yeah. teams they played lately. But, again, what Ian mentioned here, all these odds be against them, that's Belichick's wheelhouse, boy. That's where he's at his best. <laughs> but, but you talk about sustaining drives and how key that'll be for them this week. That could be an issue because they did it on the ground a lot last week, Ben Jarvis Green. It doesn't matter who the running back is right mm -hmm. now. We're, I mean, we're going to fourth and fifth string running backs and, and Kevin Falk and Ben Jarvis Green Ellis last week having more than 100 yards. But this is the Jets' rush defense, and Chris Jenkins is playing at a Pro Bowl level and, and, and maybe an all-pro level. And they're a different team than the one that met the Patriots back in Week 2. Absolutely. And I think that's, that's the part that we have to factor in. Yes, we can look back and say they've lost 11 of the last 12 against the New England Patriots. You've got the Mangini-Belichick storyline, the, the pupil going up against the professor. But ultimately, the Jets believe they are a different team than the one that faced the Patriots back in Week 2. Yes, they're... Uh, defense has been much improved. The play of Jenkins, the play of Pace, the play of Revis. Young players, Revis stepping forward, Mangold, DeBrickashaw, Ferguson. This is the time. If it's not going to happen now, I don't know when it's going to happen. And uh, obviously, you've got a bit of a family feud going here because there's right. so many connections right. between these two franchises. They know each other so well. We say that. This is one of those cases where they really do know each other. Yeah, speaking well. of the family, I mean, Ty Law joins uh, yeah, the Jets this that, week. That's I mean, the like, caveat here. Um, Ty Law, who used to be with the Patriots. But I tell you, when you, you mentioned that about um, what's, what's at stake here with the Jets, I look back at that second game, and I was at that second game. And I'll tell you what's different about this Jets team. Brett Favre has, has fit in. He, they understand him. He knows what to expect from them mm. because in that second game, they had three plays inside the five-yard line. Remember that there was a red zone. And they ran all three times. And they ran all three plays. And people afterwards said, you got Brett Favre to run the ball? No, you don't do that. And look at their, their game since then. They haven't done that. I mean, he's throwing short. You got Dustin Keller last week. They're, they're getting what they want out of Brett Favre now. And I agree with Ian. If you're not going to do it now, you're not going to do it. Ian, how big of a loss is Adelius Thomas? He's done for the year now for the, for the Patriots. Uh, outside linebacker big loss stuff. huge loss because of the fact that he's so versatile and he's one of those guys that Bill Belichick loves to coach because he can stick him anywhere on the field uh, he plays every down they don't have sub packages for him he was an every down player all of a sudden they're going to ask some guys to do a little bit more and guys that don't have the experience Thomas was one of the core guys I think that's a big loss they could actually deal with the loss of Rodney Harrison and they have Thomas will be a bigger loss. Harrison, though, the loss of Harrison in terms of in that locker room is the, huge. The emotional yeah, part know. of it, right. agree. They've handled it well, though, on the field. I mean, the way they've come out and played since then, they've played very well since then. But, but you know why, Jason? They've got leaders galore. I yeah, mean, yeah. you lose Tom Brady, how do you stay up there? Because they go to the Teddy Bruskies, you know? Yeah. You go to the Rodney Harrison when he was there. You have people in that locker room. Bill Belichick brings this team together. He's done this in the past. He's doing a remarkable job now. 
Um, I, I think well, it's a great and one. they've gotten back to their core as well. I think right. that's the big deal here because last year they changed their philosophy. Right. They had the vertical passing game that was at an elite level. They were dominating teams with that, with Randy Moss and with Tom Brady. Obviously, without Brady, things had to change. And while they can tell you that, no, the offense hasn't changed much with Castle, yeah, the approach has. Mm -hmm. It's run the football. It's control the clock. They had a 19-play drive last week, tying a team record. And it stopped the run, and that's what they're doing. They've been very physical on the defensive side of the ball. Real quickly, we talked about what's different with the Jets and about Brett Favre being different. Matt Castle, going into that game week two, mm -hmm. it was his first start since high school. You know that he was getting mm -hmm. extra reps and, and probably wasn't allowed to sleep before the, the game so he could get prepared. The Jets have tape on him now. They know what what's coming. How big of a difference is that? Well, I think it's a factor because you didn't know what you were getting in the second game of the season. And, and I think they were kind of feeling him out. But the big turnover in that game was not by Matt Castle, no, it was by Brett, Brett Favre. Favre. That's true. Um, and, and I think they look at him now and, they, they, yeah, they have an understanding. But he is playing within himself. I know it's a cliche, but he's doing the right things. He's not turning the ball over. They're, they're operating with, as I said, a four-string running back. And they're getting things done the right way. Randy Moss is back in the mix, but not as a deep receiver. I mean, they're getting him all it's, over it's the field. It's good to change him up. All right, let's make some picks. Ian and I need to... Uh... Uh, well, we need to change our luck here, Ian, is what we need to do. Let's make some picks. Uh, Clark, we'll let you go first. I, I can't go against New England. New England at home, Belichick factor, I like the Patriots. Uh, I think it's all lined up for the Jets to actually get this win. Uh, as we've talked about, if it's going to happen, it's got to happen now. This will be the defining moment of their season up until this point. The Buffalo game was big. That was a breakthrough moment for the New York Jets. This will be bigger, taking over first place in the AFC East by themselves and doing it against the team that's haunted them since 2001. This is going to be the defining moment of our picks. Yeah. I'm also going with the Jets. In order no, to done. come back and come. <laughs> you and I are done. done. We, don't, we don't pair up well no, together on so selections. Good. But we'll see how it all plays out. Don't forget, folks, it's Thursday night, and it should be a great one. Hope you're able to watch it. Uh, if not, figure out a way to do so because it should be a very good football game to start out week 11. Plenty more to come on the end zone. We're going to talk about uh, if Tony Romo is actually going to make the difference for Dallas on Sunday night. That's all coming up, uh, plus plenty more. For Clark Judge and Ian Eagle, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care.